Carillion, once the UK's second biggest construction services company, went into liquidation in January this year. Carillion was running high-scale government PFI projects like the Midland Metropolitan Hospital construction to smaller private sector projects like the Anfield Stadium expansion. In this video, we are going to analyse which factors contributed to Carillion's downfall, as well as assess any underlying CSR issues within the firm's matrix. There are many factors which contributed to the collapse of this construction giant, which issued free profit warnings in 2017, seeing their share prices plummet in July. A major factor to Carillion's downfall was its reliance on risky contracts, which proved to be unprofitable. Last year, the firm devalued these contracts by £845 million, where £375 million was used to fund the Royal Liverpool University Hospital, one of the many private finance initiatives the firm was operating. They also struggled to cope with payment delays from many of its contractors while they were trying to juggle its mountainous £900 million debt pile and £600 million pension deficit. With banks and the government refusing to bail them out, Carillion was forced to go into liquidation. So, what are the likely impacts of Carillion's closure on its stakeholders? As of June 2018, redundancies of Carillion workers had reached 2,332. Out of nearly 12,000 workers in the UK, about 64% had been employed elsewhere. Furthermore, the huge pension deficit Carillion is facing could potentially result with many workers not receiving the post-retirement income they were promised. And also, some of the government's PFI schemes previously managed by Carillion are being taken into public ownership. These private finance initiatives involve the private firm, being Carillion, taking all the risks from the construction of the project, so that when the building is completed, it is leased out to the government over a long period of time. However, in this case, the public sector is bearing some of the losses from Carillion's downfall, where the cost of government taking over the Midland Metropolitan Hospital project is likely to cost taxpayers in the region of £148 million. And finally, the huge crash in share prices will have a huge impact on the firm's shareholders, who will see the value of their shares depreciate rapidly. 